Hi, my name is Beyhan. In this video, I will show you how to create a Vue.js app and how to publish it to SAP ABAP Netweaver. Probably you have already seen how to create pure application by using Visual Studio Code. And in this video, I will show you how to do it for Vue. I will be following the steps in my blog post. I will be sharing link of this blog post under the video in the comments. So first, we need to have Visual Studio Code. If you don't have them, you can download them from web and also same for Node.js. If you have already installed them, we can start development of our Vue application. First, I go to the folder that I want to create my Vue.js app. I right-click here and I say open Visual Studio Code. And I will be using Terminal to create all the application. I will be first installing the command line interface for Vue. If you don't have the Terminal, you just click your new Terminal. You will have it here. We are in the Vue app folder. So I continue with the first command. I copy this. I go to Visual Studio Code and right click paste and enter. Okay, command line interface is installed. Now we will create our application. When you try to create an application, you may get an error. And if it, this is the error, this is because of permission of the PowerShell. You just need to run set execution policy remote signed on the terminal and restart your Visual Studio code. And then you can continue with running this command. I copy the command, right click to paste and enter. It will be creating a Vue ABAP app folder in this Vue apps folder. So pay attention where you are when you are running this command. I will continue with Vue 3. Enter. Our application is created. Now we can run it. First, we need to change our folder to application folder. And I will just run. Our server is running now. We can copy this URL and paste it on the browser, or we can just press Ctrl and click. So if you go to our browser, as you can see, we have our application running over localhost. So it is time to deploy our application to SAP. To deploy it, we will be using UI5 uploader tool. I am going to use the code again, Control C. I will stop the server. I will right click here, paste the command and run. And for this UI uploader, Tool. We also need to create a file here which contains parameters to upload. So if I go to my blog post again, these are my parameters specific for my server. I will explain the parameters. Now we need to right click here and create a new file. And file name needs to be .nwabubrc. And in this file I will pass the content. By the way, these are all explained here. So this is the file name, you can just copy and paste. And this is the sample content, which is specific to my server. So here it says the content will be copied from the disk folder. We won't be using SSL. This is the IP address for my SAP server. And the client on the server, SAP client is 001. The username developer password download one. I am using SAP developer edition. You can check my other videos to install SAP developer edition on Ubuntu VirtualBox. And I will be uploading the content to temp folder and the name of the application will be ZVU ABAP app. And also a service will be created with the same name. This is the description of the app and also service. Now we can just build and deploy it. After building, we will have a disk folder here. So to build npm run build, this is the command. Now we can deploy it to SAP, but we will have a problem with the source files location. I will just show you the problem and then the solution. I will copy the command just to deploy to SAP. And also let me show you my GUI settings. This is my local SAP Ubuntu. And if I go to the properties, I have done port forwarding on my virtual box. You can check previous videos to see how to do port forwardings and also DNS settings. So I go to Visual Studio Code again, right click and paste. Okay, these files are created on SAP. If I open my GUI, if I go to SEAT, I have uploaded all the files to the temp folder. So if I go to local objects here, and if I open BSP library, as you can see, I have my application. And these are the CSS and JavaScript files. And to run the application, I will open another session. I will go to SICF, CGIF, and here in the service name, I will just write Z star 
and I will search. This is the service that we have just created. And if I right click this one, if I say test service, it will open on the browser. It is asking me my username and password. It is same developer and download. Page didn't come as we expect. So if you right click and inspect here, we will see there are some issues with loading CSS and JavaScript files. I will just right click here and I will say open a new tab. So if you see, this is the path of our Blue application on BSV and it needs to be under this path. But here it is directly looking at on the server. So base URL for this source location is not correct. We need to fix this one and we will just fix it by changing the vue.config.js file. We will need to add this parameter to vue.config. We go to Visual Studio, we open vue.config and comma and we add a new parameter here. This is the path. As you can see, this is the exact path that we are having on our CGIF. So we need to place this path. So I go to Visual Studio, I paste it, save it. Now I need to build and deploy it again. Build is completed. Now we will deploy it again. Done. Let's check it again on the browser. I will close this one. I will place Shift F5. After refresh, as you can see, it's working just fine. That's it about the Vue development. And also, instead of using Fiori and Odota, you can use Vue and REST. I have another blog post here, which is mentioned in this blog as well. And if you want to create your REST API with ABAP, you can follow this tutorial too. If you click this one, it will take you to page. And in this blog post, I have also shown how to apply MVC1 to a REST API. That means you just create one endpoint, and by using this endpoint, you can do as many requests as you want without creating any extra web API. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.